Okay. All right. So this is my last video for today. Why do I say that? Because you're talking to past me. Past me has recorded, I don't know how many freaking videos, like eight, nine. <laughs> and this is the last one. This was impromptu. I actually drafted the notes for this like weeks ago and I just hadn't gotten around to recording it. Um, but, but we're ready. So today is a haul video. More on that in just a second. I'm Meridian Navarro, your resident witch and creatrix over to Radius Hand and Denise Divine, where I create myth, magic, and meaning for your everyday life through art, intuition, and energy work. And on Tuesdays, I like to do a little thing called the haul. Usually, it's an art haul. You can, you can figure out what I mean by that. Every now and then, I have an intuitive haul or a magic haul, which uh, two hauls ago, we had a magic haul. Last haul was an intuitive haul this haul and it was a magic it was a it was a magic and art haul but last one was just an intuitive haul this one is biz haul so i got something for my work for you know my organization it's usually what my biz haul stuff is it's it, you know calendars planners and stuff like that um so um this is not it this is not what i bought this is what i'm replacing this is my moleskin it is a pocket sized soft cover dot grid um, and I liked it because I put it in my pocket and I bend the living hell out of it. Well, it's almost full. Hold on, hold on. I'll show you how much I got left. I've got this much left. That much. That's not, that's not a whole lot. And I'm not a fan of like running out of something and then like needing it and not being able to get it. So what I did is I ordered a new one ahead of time. Um, I was going to get a black one. I was actually going to get it in town. I'm pretty sure... I got this at either Barnes and Noble or Target. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, neither of them had it. I could get a hard cover version in black and I could get it ruled. And they have Moleskin heads options. There's blank, ruled, dot grid. I think they might have a grid for some, but I know they definitely have the grid and the ruled. Well, the thing with it is I have fell in love with the dot grid and so I can't go back now. Like lines are fine for, for notebook paper, <laughs> okay, and notebooks. And when I'm doing magic, like with my book that I bought a couple weeks ago, that one I want blank, but this one, dot grid all the way. <sighs> it gives me the, the ease of making a grid and lists and like lines without actually having lines. Yeah, I like it. So, yeah, um, also soft. And I got the red one because I have this weird fascination with red. Strange fascination. And I figured if it's red, I can't possibly lose this sand thing, right? It's red. Um, and not all of them have come in all the colors. Uh, I think there was like a marine or peacock is what they called it, blue, which I liked. That would have been a good option. Um, but I think most of the colors I didn't care for. So it was black or red, that's what we were going with. And here we go. So I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, I bullet journal in this. And I usually actually use this for my ongoing to-do list. So um, when I'm out and away and I, I can't use my phone because my hands are busy or whatever, or it's just frowned upon, or it's noisy, or my phone is dying, or it's hot, or whatever. Uh, this is not like I leave that damn thing anywhere else but with me. This, is, this comes in handy. Um, it lets me capture ideas um, and inspiration. Holy shit, oh my god, I forgot this notes. Stuff like that. That's what's in a lot of this. And while I don't bullet journal in the same way that everybody does, well, like this is the thing that I reference constantly, this is where I keep my list and my, my to do list and my ideas and stuff like that that are constantly happening. And so having a good solid place for them to live has made it easier for me not to lose them. <laughs> and this is everything in it, like everything. So I also filled them up pretty freaking quickly. Um, um, now I got it from Moleskin um, because I couldn't get it. Look, I, if I could have got it somewhere else and didn't have to wait for shipping, I would have. Um, but I couldn't. So they have this. This is the pocket size. They have various other sizes. They have soft and hard cover. They also have a. I think it's Cahiers. C H C A H I E R S. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, those are more like a signature. And a signature is a type of, it's a, it's a collection of pages, but it's, it's closer to like a signature where it's thinner. Um, it's usually larger, but I think they might have different sizes of those. And it's like a paper, like a cardstock cover. Um, I would rip that thing to shreds and I need, I need all the pages, all the pages. 
So, and I'm pretty sure those are blank or lined. I actually don't know. I've never opened one. But I've linked to it below so you can check it out. I've also got a picture of me not flipping it around. <laughs> um, and because this is not open yet, I will I'll flip to like an open blank page in here so you can see what it looks like. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's it. That's it. That's everything. That's all I have to say about it. <sighs> I would love to hear from you. Do you like moleskin? Are you a like term person? Which term? I don't know actually how to say that word. It's rare that I come across a word that I'm like, I don't know how to say that. Every now and then it happens. But um, those are two big notebook companies. And if you if you know, you know. So I would love to hear from you what you think. Do you like them? Do you have a preference? Do you have a preference to size? Do you like dot, lined, or blank? Uh, hard or soft cover? Do you have a favorite color that you like your cover to be? Do you like one of the other types of notebooks they have? Because they have, um, I think, like a full-size one. And they have like a you know eight and a half by eleven size, and they have one that's smaller. Uh, I think that's the smallest one, but it might they might be one that's smaller. I don't actually know. Now that I think about that, I don't know. So, so, so if you'd like to see it, scroll below. If you're watching this on YouTube, head over to that link at the top, and it'll send you over to Patreon where you can see the picture. Links, links if you got them, they're there. It's 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 one. It's there. Um, but you can, again, you can find this on Amazon. You can find it in Barnes & Noble. You can probably find it in a bunch of other places. Um, I've seen some in Target. Uh, I definitely suggest you double check before you go because I went to both Target and Barnes & Noble to find this and could not. And I was so mad. Because <sighs> I, I had to, like, wait a week to get it, which I'm impatient. So that was, like, the longest week of my life. Especially since I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out of pages here soon. This is going to be awful. It's going to be so terrible. Because I'm... I'm it's too much, too much. Anyway, any, anyway, anyway, I gotta go. So, uh, you stay till the end of the video. What are we doing tomorrow? What are we doing tomorrow? Oh, hey, planner page is over here. <gasps> tomorrow is work in progress Wednesday. So, we're gonna touch base with the uh, plan that I need on Monday. See where we are, see how we're doing, how the project's going, our progress, evaluating, you know, what have you. And that's it. That's it. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having interest in what I, I do and what I have to say. Um, time is, you know, our vo most valuable resource. Well, among them, because humans are destroying everything. <sighs> mm, what's happening? Damn it. Uh, but no, for real. Um, it matters that you hang out with me. Um, I know that you could be doing anything else. And I hope that you get some joy and some entertainment out of my weird ass on camera. <laughs> Disheveled. <laughs> looking, looking a hot mess all the time. Every time. Oh, why would I want to put myself together and look presentable? Fuck that. <sighs> Whatever. You know, come on. If you've been hanging out with me long enough, you know that I don't. I'm not up for appearances, as you can tell. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So really, really. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I gotta do. I gotta take pictures of stuff. That's what I gotta do. I gotta take pictures of that and that and like something else that I've, you know, forgotten what the hell it is. Hmm. I don't know what it is. That is unfortunate. But until tomorrow, we're hopefully able to see you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and ready to go and having made progress on what we're doing. So, so long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, and 